So the first and foremost is the cloud cost too much. And I realized early on, you know, many years ago when cloud started to emerge or reemerge, obviously software as a service was around for the last 25 years or so, and then changed into infrastructure as a service as another focus, and then uh, other rising cloud patterns as well. And I realized early on that in the zeitgeist, people were using cloud and touting the fact or touting the observation or tout, uh, touting the assumptions, really, that the cost of cloud computing was going to go down or, or basically be much less expensive than traditional hardware. And that made sense because if we're leveraging something as a service, we're not building a power plant, we're leveraging somebody else's power plant, we should be able to, through economies of scale, use those resources at a much reduced price. However, I saw something a bit different at the time and looking at the cloud prices and looking at the patterns in terms of the drop of hardware, drop in prices of hardware people were owning and maintaining within their enterprises and the cost of cloud computing, which was really kind of flat to expanding, that this wasn't the deal I think everybody thought it was going to be. So announced early on that the cost of cloud computing were likely to be more than traditional hardware systems. And uh, people push back on that. And I understand why, because in the zeitgeist at the time, or basically the hype cycle was talking about the efficiency of cloud computing and therefore the ability to reduce costs. And if you didn't have those value drivers that were part of you really kind of figuring out the value of this technology, the enterprises shouldn't have used it because it's going to be way too expensive. And now in 2025, we're seeing a multitude of repatriation projects underway as people are trying to put their data and put their pro uh, applications back where they found it uh, because the cost as the primary driver, they just can't afford it. And obviously moving into AI, many in enterprises are making, you know, very much similar decisions now. And so, and in large amounts of cases, they're not moving to the hyperscalers. They're moving to sovereign clouds or moving to uh, neo clouds or specialized cloud providers, AI cloud providers, or back to their own hardware, either on a managed service provider or on a co-location provider because of the cost of the stuff. And that becomes much more important. So I got that one right.